Welcome, and hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Because this is your stimulus check and stimulus package update as of today, August 2nd, 2020. Well, let's give you some interesting news and try to make it better for you. I, at least I can hope that way for you. Over time, I can hope that way for all of us because I'm in the same boat you are. As you can see by my backgrounds, I mean, I got rafters over my heads. I lived in an unfinished basement with no heating and one wall outlet. But, eh, it works for now. Let's see here. The leaders of the Democrats held a meeting yesterday with the negotiators from the White House. The White House officials said that the negotiations were the best they've had so far. This is how, let's put this way, this is how dysfunctional our system really is. The Republicans tried to pass an ex uh, enhanced unemployment act yet again, and it was blocked by the Democrats. So in turn, the Democrats tried to pass their own version of the enhanced unemployment act, and it was also blocked by the Republicans. So basically, we, we, at least we got one thing going for us. I mean, we have the White House, the president, as well as both Republicans and Democrats, both are agreeing on a second one-time payment of $1,200 yet again for the American citizens that are struggling, starving, and, about, and, and are losing their houses because the eviction and foreclosure moratorium has expired. <clears throat> Let's see here. But like I said, they both agree on that. I mean, they I think they're going to go for the $1,200 per individual and $500 for each de each dependent. At least this is the information that comes across my eye, my ears. I mean, this information could be inaccurate. I will keep you informed as of what happens before August 7th when the Senate decides to go on their 31-day paid vacation. Thanks to us, wonderful taxpayers. The Republicans, the Democrats, and the White House are saying that they want to stop the evictions and foreclosures that's going on right now, but yet they're sitting on their butts doing nothing about it. So basically, we have millions of people being kicked out of the house, their apartments and their houses, because our set our, our politicians can't make their minds up to get anything done. And they have until the Friday of this coming up week, which will be the 7th, to hopefully get something done. We'll see what happens when that, when that comes around. Chuck Schumer said that the negotiations have been like, well, the negotiations with the Republicans have been like trying to nail jello to a wall. That's pretty bad. I mean, if you could try to nail jello to a wall and make a stick, then it's sweet. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going terribly. The biggest thing that is actually holding up the whole stimulus package idea is the liability protection. Because Republicans want the um, liability protection to include negligence, which basically states that businesses, schools, and hospitals can be negligent as far as COVID-19 goes and not get sued for it. Now, how is that for protecting the people, but not the business? But how's that for protecting the people? Let's put it that way. That's not protecting us at all. That's like saying, hey, we're going to send our kids back to school. If the staff there is negligent in doing their job and our and we basically our kid gets sick and dies, we can't we can't get repercussions against the school for being negligent. That's not right. And let's put it this way. We basically have five different scenarios of what can happen as far as the next stimulus check and stimulus package goes. The first one is the politicians actually agree to pass a bill that has everything that Americans want inside it. And extended uh, enhanced unemployment, extended more PPP for the small businesses, eviction and foreclosure protection, as well as uh, hazard pay for all essential workers and much, much more. That's the first scenario. The second scenario we have is the politicians can agree, cannot agree, so they pass small bills for the things that they can actually agree on and then after the vacation gets done they come back and they pass the rest of the bills that's something that nancy pelosi does not want to happen because she feels that it that if she passes all these small bills it'll take away from her negotiating her bargaining chip should i say 
which is her guardianship right now, is opposing the liability protection. <clears throat> Three, the politicians decide to do their vacation and keep on working and get the job done. Well, let's put it this way. We already know that the Senate said that they will not delay their vacation. So on August 7th, they're going on a 31-day vacation where they're going to forget about all the people that are suffering, starving, and losing their houses because they can't get their job done. That is scenario number three. Uh, well, scenario number four is not good. Now, that's number five. Number four is, is they cannot reach an agreement by the fifth, and they all go on a, a one-month vacation, and at which time they come back and they continue nego negotiations. And in that 31 days that they're gone, we have millions of people living on the street because they lost their housing because the eviction and the foreclosure memorandum is expired. We have a lot more people that have, have, have starved or died from starving because they have their only source of income, which was the Extended Unemployment Act, has expired. And so basically we're looking at a lot of people on the streets and a lot of people dying because our politicians can't get off their butts and do their job and help the people that actually put them in office in the first place. And the other one is, is no stimulus packages passed at all. This is pro this is number five. No, there's no stimulus packages passed at all because they're all too worried about our national debt. Well, I've done the numbers on our national debt compared to how much we have. We have about $147 trillion worth of spendable money. That's for all assets and everything inside the United States. And that's not including our debt. Our, if you add our debt on top of that, well, if we actually had no debt, our national, our, our average would probably be about $300 trillion. But our national debt takes out about $1.5 trillion for national debt. And on the national debt idea, and I actually would really appreciate you guys commenting on this one because... I need your feedback as well because your feedback is as important as what I have to say. On our national debt, we could resolve all of our national debt if we made every multimillionaire pay their fair share of their taxes. No tax cuts, no tax breaks, no nothing. They pay their taxes no matter what. Because as you notice, I mean, I'm not sure if you noticed this, but I think it was like last month. It was off of Facebook. It said how Dwayne The Rock Johnson just bought a $200 million house. And that's because he's getting all the tax credit, all the tax breaks and all the tax cuts and all the tax credits. So he doesn't have to worry about his money going, going smaller. He just has to worry about his money getting bigger. Because as every person knows, whether they're a small person or they're not, that the multimillionaires everything handed to them on a silver platter whereas everyone else they just get everything thrown at them like people throwing rock, sticks and rocks at them which isn't right we need to start making everyone accountable for their fair share of all their taxes to make the country great again ignore what donald trump says because his idea for the next stimulus package is to build the new fbi headquarters by his hotel to knock out competition and I don't know about you, but a new FBI headquarters, which could cost hundreds of millions of dollars to be erected by your hotel to knock out the competition is not exactly anywhere close to helping out the people. And as we notice, the Republicans, they've been sitting on their butts doing nothing all day. Well, let's put it this way. They've had a three day weekend. And as we've all noticed, when they first came back, and Mitch McConnell basically wanted was supposed to reveal his idea for the stimulus package, which he revealed to the, Re the Republicans. And they got into a nice little squabble and took a four-day weekend. That's after they came back from the last recess. And then this week, they took Friday off, giving themselves a three-day weekend. And then next week, on the 7th, they're going on a one-month vacation. How can they take take all this time off and still get paid for it when in actuality the taxpayers are paying their wages so basically wouldn't that make us their boss saying look you can't have a vacation to get a job done and even if you get the job done you only get two weeks you don't get a month 
You can't decide to say, oh, screw it, I'm taking a four-day weekend, or screw it, I'm taking a three-day weekend. You have to get it passed by the people for you to even go on vacation. Otherwise, you can't go on vacation. That's how it works in employers. At my job, I have I, I earn vacation time, and I have to let my employer know in advance that I'm taking this time off and okaying it with him first to make sure that I got my shift covered. They need to do, this, do the exact same thing. They need to get their butts covered or they can't go. And if they decide to go anyways, then they don't get paid. Why should they get paid for taking a month off and doing nothing except for sitting in their rich mansions and are on their, their expensive yachts, eating caviar and other expensive food? Well, there's people out here starving and losing their houses and dying because they can't come to a decision to help the people out that need it. But <clears throat> this is my commentary <laughs> and my thoughts. If you guys actually, and I'm, I'm serious about this, please let me give you some comments on what you think about my idea about the whole taking care of the people at thing compared to the Congress not getting paid for taking a one month vacation or them having to okay it with the people first before they take a vacation. I'd appreciate it. And I'll get back to all your comments as fast as possible. As well as, if you like my, my videos, please hit that like button so my content can get out to other people. And hit the subscribe and notification buttons if you wish to get more of my videos sent directly to your computer. Until then, you guys have a fabulous Sunday. And I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow on August 3rd of any new updates that may happen. And I, 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 pray for, I pray to God that a lot of good stuff starts to happen because the people really need it. These rich congressmen need to be taught a lesson. And that lesson will be coming when they go to get reelected back into their office. And hopefully when they get reelected, they don't get put back into office. The same thing goes with the president that promised a big and dramatic stimulus check, but yet is now siding with the Democrats and the Republicans to only give us $1,200. But until next time, you guys have a great day. Have a fabulous even, evening, and I will speak at you next time. Bye.